Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, just kidding. On. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. <laughs> we know all things. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Gabe. And oh, we can't control it. We are so excited. First of all, <laughs> we're in new Studio A here. Studio A. We're back together. We're not streaming, so no lag. Take that lag. Smack you around. <laughs> but we're talking about DC fandom. We're talking about, I guess, online Comic Con. Whatever's going on, we're getting a whole bunch of trailers right now, which we absolutely love. I mean, he was doing stuff with his family. I was doing stuff with my family. And he's like, dude, this trailer's out. This trailer's out. This trailer's out. I'm going to lose my mind. So here we are. Bro, it's an embarrassment of riches. It's an embarrassment of riches. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And let me tell you something. I'm one of those guys that paid for the DC app when it dropped. And I was excited about it. And I was so disappointed once I got it. Because it was limited content. We talked about that. And then when HBO Max came out, I'm like, oh, bro. They've got this. They've got that. And DC did a good job about if you were already a DC fan, you got HBO Max like on a discount. I got it for like five bucks because I'm already a DC fan. So I just paid for the year subscription. But... Between that, oh, I mean, today we already know um, the Justice League uh, uh, Snyder yeah, Cut edition dropped. Yet. Haven't seen it yet, but we know it already dropped. We already did Wonder Woman 1984. Right now, what are we going to do, Nick? Woo! The Batman. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, I'm so We've excited. had so many conversations on or off the camera about this, and I've always had Pat's back. He's kind of been off and on about it. He was hateful at first <laughs> and then he sent me a message about a fake rumor that he was out as the batman because he wouldn't get all buff i'm so excited i know we don't have a lot i mean i froze it at second zero and i'm seeing the old wb's logo that we saw for batman the animated series right no old school so old i mean school. that don't tell me that's not intentional oh, oh i can't cool. wait it, it is old school but you know I, oh. I, it wasn't Okay, I'm going to lie. Uh, I'm not going to lie here. It was hate. I was like, the skinny dude from Twilight. Okay, I'm anti-Twilight. I'm and not Team coming. Jacob. I'm not Team... Maybe it's because Savannah's Team Jacob, and she always like, oh, you should look like Jacob. Like, oh. we should all look like Jacob. You know what I <laughs> mean? What, are you kidding me? I don't even think Jacob looks like Jacob <laughs> You know what I mean? Taylor Lautner, whatever his name is. You ruined it for all men. You ruined it for all men. <laughs> but honestly, he's like 19, little punk. You know what I'm saying? But honestly, I was like, really, this guy? And then... Man, you talked to me about it. I saw him in the lighthouse. Like, nah, dude, he's got some serious acting chops. So Nick talked me off the ledge. But you know what? Let, 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 let's just, just, yeah, just, let's just jump into We're it. We're so excited. We're we ready can't to wait. about it. We've already waited hours. Here we go. Too long. Let me get straight through this volume is, is packed here. Oh, my gosh. That's Tate. Oh, my gosh. I already love it. Menacing. No more lies. That dude's probably dead. <laughs> you think? I'm your secret friend. Who? Having a clue. Oh, I love it. Play a game, just me and you. Any of this mean anything to you? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. So it's got to be the Riddler, of course. Let me proceed. Why is he writing to you? To the Batman. Catwoman? If you are justice, please do not lie. God. Can't handle what it. What is the price for your blind eye? The hell are you supposed to be? Oh, oh, that was a sick shot. Oh, 
Oh, look at that with the A! Okay. Oh my gosh. So usually I'm like, you go first. I can't. I can't control myself. That was unbelievable. There's a lot of uh, comic book references I don't get, so I'll let you clue, clue us in there. He's a comic book guy. But the feel, you got to have the feel. You got to have the grit. You got to have the tone for Batman. You just right. got to, especially with the high bar that Christopher Nolan set. It had the tone. They used that Nirvana song, which is already, you know, kind of a dark song, in a slower, more creepy way. Batman was brutal. Dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is... He went back for more. It was like Cobra Kai. Oh, Finish oh, him. I love it. This is the Batman that I fell in love with from the graphic novels, okay? Goosebumps everywhere. Year one Batman, year two Batman from the graphic novels where you can see that the Batmobile isn't some like super high tech over the top. It's not like uh, we got with the... What, uh, uh, Joel Schumacher. The, yeah, the Joel Schumacher. No, this is basically a souped-up Maserati. That's what it was in, 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 the, in the novels. It was a souped-up Maserati or oh, whatnot. God. And, bro, but, I mean, you can see the practical. Even Catwoman, right? It's really just a, 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 a ski mask. That was Zoe Kravitz, right? So, Zoe Kravitz, yeah, but it's really just a ski mask with, you know, the eyes cut off. It's all practical, more gritty, more down-to-earth. I'm super excited. It's got to be the Riddler, first and foremost, because he's leaving them riddles. And then you even saw the question marks when it said 2021. It was just question marks. So it's got to be the Riddler. And, man, I, I, so many questions, so many questions where it falls in. I like even the one part where you saw when he walked in the room and all the cops are there. If you saw the, the, the boots, right, you could see that it was boots. And then on top of it, it was some kind of, like, I don't know, maybe knee protector or shin protector. But the point is, the suit is practical, just like Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman suit is practical. And... That's what I thought that Batman, uh, um, sec um, I'm gonna not Snyder. I'm sorry. Um, Nolan. N Nolan. Christopher Nolan's Batman did well. That everything was practical was really believable. Yeah, she was a cat burglar. Yeah. Even though I love myself, Michelle Michelle Pfeiffer. Right, Batman right, 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 right. Turns. It doesn't, doesn't make sense. Uh, I mean, I, I I get it. It's a comic book, but a little cat comes around and looks at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw in the 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 art, you know, the layout trailer thing that they released, which is the red. That his his Batman signal is like the guns, and we heard rumors that it's the gun that killed his parents, right, which right, is right, right. super dark. Right. I mean, this guy when he he went up with all those thugs, and that's probably the shot before he just beats that one guy senseless. Wait, Ooh. I don't know if you're dead, and then he goes back for more. <laughs> that was, I mean, okay. This is the question I have for you. It's just a trailer. It's just a trailer, and I'm super hyped up. Did you believe Pat's right there? I I bought it, bro. Oh, I bought yeah, it. Baby. I bought him as a younger Batman, but brutal. The Woo. ruthlessness. And they could have gone for the cheesy line like, I'm Batman. But he wouldn't oh. have even said that in the comic book. He'd say something like, I'm vengeance. And just, oh, you know man. what I mean? Like, oh, dude, dude, he was just You're beating him down. broken man. And, bro, he's just a, a, a angry young guy. You know, it's one of those situations where it's funny in the comic book. He actually keeps the gun that kills his parents. And that's actually in, in, in the Batcave or whatnot. If you guys saw... um. The the DC on the DC universe, the Titans or whatever. There's an episode where they show the Batcave and the gun is in there. So the gun's always been symbolic. So I'm glad that they put it brought it back in here. I, I am so excited for this dude. He even just looks like a, a, a angry, torn, worn oh, yeah. dude or whatever. The look in his eyes, he definitely sold it. Ah, oh, 2021 cannot come around soon enough. I tell you what, bro, they have to. Please, COVID, go away. Because this is something you got to experience oh. on the big screen. You got to experience on the big screen. I can see it being rated R now after that trailer. I can see it being rated R. <laughs> um, which is fine. Joker's rated R. You know, and it was a great film. Um, it just means less and less kids can go watch it traditionally. But I'm not going to get into that right now. What, what I want to talk about is we're huge DC fans. We love Marvel. We love the MCU. We, we'll, we'll be there day one every single time. But we're bigger DC guys. And this has given me some hope that you're not going to be able to match this up. I don't care right. what you got in the slate in MCU. Right. You're not going to match this up when this is out week one, when this is out week two, week three. But Pats, you talked about he's in that broken, dark place. He reminded me, and this is what I loved about Affleck as Batman in Batman vs. Superman, where in the trailer you have Alfred saying... You know, it's what takes a kind man cruel and turns him cruel. And you just see that look in Affleck when he's doing his workouts in his cave yeah. and his suits are all graffitied by the Joker or whatever. 
that persona that he had for most of that film is what I feel like they tapped into with Pats, but it's probably the entire thing. You know, it, it, it's amazing. And I mean, one of my one of my favorite lines of, of Affleck in that film is he's like, 20 years in, Bat- in Gotham uh, for doing this. You know, how many good men have we seen turn bad? How many have stayed that way? You know what I mean? Like, dude, it, it's grimy. And I mean, this is the Batman dude that was breaking people's backs, bro. Okay, this dude crippling people. Like, yes... He still was against killing, but bro, he was maiming people. No joke, man. They said, they said finish oh, him. Oh, dude, finish, they said, finish him. him. Oh man, I'm so excited for it, dude. I'm so excited. I'll tell you right now, yes, like you mentioned, we're we're huge DC fans. We love MCU and what they're doing. But look at DC slate coming out versus MCU's uh, uh slate coming and, out, and bro. And they ride the ship, did they not? They from D- what I mean, we haven't got to the trailers yet. But so far this. You got Wonder World. They reneged the whole Suicide Squad. Right, 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 right. Besides, uh, you know, Marco Robbie. But <laughs> I mean, they. It looks like they ride the ship. Can't wait to get to the other trailer reactions. Bro, can't do it either. I mean, earlier today we did Night with the Woman, nineteen eighty four, and what do we have to look for from Marvel? Okay, uh, uh, the Mew Mew Imps, which that thing's been in production hell. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's just be real. And Black Widow. I know they got Chang Chang Chi coming out and. The they're, Eternals. They're trying to hype up the Eternals, I, they, but I'm not sure where the production's at. I, I don't understand why they're not jumping on Fantastic Four, bro. That's like the biggest property that they have. Have you ever heard of someone called the X-Men? <laughs> okay. Bro, I'm Tell telling me you. they wrote a script during COVID for X-Men. Tell me <laughs> about the next five films. You let us know. But we are going to keep this DC. Don't forget to check out our Wonder Woman reaction, like he said. Don't forget to check out our other reactions. We're going to be dropping pretty soon. Oh, hopefully all tonight, if I can get all the editing done. But until next time. Woo, why so serious? Vengeance.